Good morning, everybody. And today is Sunday, uh, May 23, 2021. It's Pentecost Sunday. Um, we want to welcome everybody from the one who are on Facebook or Zoom and for all the one who are physically in our church. Um, yes, and we want to, of course, this our main goal today is to really uh, worship our Lord God, give all the praises to him. As we begin this morning, let's sing Holy Spirit. Let us be more aware 
this opportunity to worship you to glorify your name if you're able let's stand wherever you are today and let us sing when the Pentecost happened everybody is filled with the Holy Spirit everybody is saying something about God and glorifying our God so let's sing how great is our God I'm 
my baby Sarkad. God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, here we are, worshiping you, glorifying your name. standing and let us sing Spirit of God descend upon our hearts. United Methodist Hymnal 500 verses 1, 4, and 5.
morning. Please join me to call to worship. Come, Holy Spirit. The wind of God, the breath of life. Come, Holy Spirit. Our advocate, our counselor. Come, Holy Spirit. Teacher of wisdom, reminder of Christ. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Blessing to our worship. May we receive the Holy Spirit in this place. Amen. In unison, let us pray. Holy One, for all the ways you speak to us, in rushing wind, in dancing flames, in words we understand, and in all that transcends language, we give thanks. Give us courage to speak your love everywhere we go, to everyone we meet. Amen. Please be seated. I call on Risha for the children's time. Uh, we will play the video on the desktop first. One, it's Pentecost today. That means it's the church's birthday. It's the day we remember the real first time the church came together. So, I'm celebrating it with this birthday cake. But before we bite into this, we have to light the candles. The story of Pentecost can be found in the book of Acts. Here, Jesus went back to heaven after visiting the disciples. The disciples were praying together in a big room, but suddenly something almost unbelievable happened. At first, it sounded like a huge wind was blowing all through the area. Next, flames of fire flickered over every person's head. Then. God's Spirit came and everyone began to speak different languages. This was the gift from God that Jesus had promised his followers. At the time, many people from different places were gathered in Jerusalem. When they heard the noise the disciples were making, they went to them and were surprised to hear them speak in their own languages. After that day, when the Holy Spirit came, Jesus' disciples continued to do many miracles and tell people about God's love and how Jesus came to save them. Well, as you can see, when we light this cake's candles, it'll be sort of a comparison to what happened that day at Pentecost. Look here. The Holy Spirit is still with us today, even if we can't see it. It may not be a physical fire you can feel and touch, but there is still an emotional warmth we can feel. Like when we get so happy about Jesus that we feel like we could shout it out to the world with joy. That warmth is the Holy Spirit. As a part of the church, which we're celebrating today, we are supposed to spread the light of Jesus to the world. We can use our own fire of the Holy Spirit to help us ignite other people. <laughs> It's okay. It was a, it was a paper cake. Um. Anyway, let us pray. Dear Father, thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to be our teacher and guide. Help us fulfill our duty and spread your light with the world. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Okay. Let us request the children to kneel, and we'll pray for them. We want to see our children, Ryan, we miss you, Nicole, Kuya Jo, Kuya Josiah is uh, taller than me, okay? 
I would like to request each and every one of us to lay. Risha, we want to also pray for you for leading the young disciples. But if you prefer there, it's okay. Okay, and Risha and Jaden are the new disciples of our, uh, what you call that? IT. So congratulations and thank you for Risha and Jaden. Uh, so they are now tra uh, training to be uh, IT. So just in case Guy will not be here or Nathan, so we have people that can uh, work at the back. So let us lay our hands on our children. Lord, we thank you for our children. And we ask that uh, you bless them and you continue to lead them in their lives. They may be kids, Lord God, but we learn from them. And continue to bless them in school, whatever they do. May your name be glorified. And may you always make them know that you are there with them, that you are Emmanuel. And that with you, through the power of the Holy Spirit, they can do great things. And Lord, we also pray for our children that are not here. The little kids, bless them too, Lord God. And we glorify your name because of our children. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Ryan, Nicole, Kuya Jo. And thank you, Risha, for leading them. My uh, son texted me, Mommy, do not uh, control the PowerPoint. Sorry if you see before that there's going up and down and up and down. It was me and them uh, pressing the PowerPoint. And uh, sometimes uh, I thought that they're not uh, doing it, so I was doing it, but they were doing it. and. So sorry about that. <laughs> it's my mistake. And we would like to uh, greet and uh, welcome our worshipers on Facebook. Uh, our worshipers on Facebook, of course, we have uh, Miss D, and we have with us. Uh, Miss Mary Olds, Miss Mary Catherine, and also Mary Ellen, and Kuya, Kuya Joseph, and Ate Judy. Good morning, church. Joseph and I are worshiping with you today in Zoom and through Facebook. Thank you. Ate Becknaer is also watching. Good morning. Good morning, Ignite UMC Kenilworth family and friends. So thank you, everybody, and to, to all of you who are going to... Uh, tune in to Facebook and Zoom. Good morning. And uh, also on Zoom, we have with us uh, worshiping Miss Jane Riley. Hi, Miss Jane. Miss Janet Henkel and family there in Florida worshiping with us. Oh, it's very early there. Good morning, Miss Janet Henkel. Mr. John Dresser, Mr. Janet Crow. I'm sorry, Mr. Janet. Miss Janet Crow. <laughs> Ate Tanit, and also uh, Kuya Joseph, Miss Evelyn, thank you for joining us. And we would like to welcome uh, the Castellanos, Tatay Mani. Uh, good morning for coming back. I uh, think this is your first time worshiping since the Zoom. <laughs> Tatay Mani. And also, welcome. Uh, we would like to thank, uh, there are two couples that were uh, uh, married here. The last one was a few weeks ago. So, Peter and Janie, congratulations and welcome. Woo! In November of 2018, we have Alec and Nice Diaz. Ah, look at nice. Good morning. We miss you. Thank you for worshiping with us and visiting us. Rochelle Ramos. Good morning, Rochelle. Uh, this is your first time worshiping, but you've been here for baptisms and everything and wedding too. So also uh, Jane and Aljon, 
and family, Al, uh, Ali, and Kyrie. Good morning. Good morning, Drew and Rachel. Woohoo! Tell Kuya Andre, he's always saying, I'll be there in the church on Sunday. Oh, Kuya Andre, if you are watching this. <laughs> and Nanay, of course, Ati Norma, and everybody, the De Los Reyes, I, Hana, Kuya Sam, Ati Lani, uh, Joanna, Mr. Uh, Ashok, Mr. Our teacher Ashok is the one who's always here, but downstairs. So uh, thank you, Kuya Ashok. And of course, Pastor Don and Miss Elba. Good morning, Attorney Peter. We will continue with our announcement. At the back, announcement. Our birthday celebrants. Last 20th is Drew Restrepo's birthday. So Drew, happy birthday on the 20th. It's also the anniversary of Dan and Jeannie. Yoo-hoo! 22 is Kuya Garner Golomay's birthday. Woo! Kuya Garner belated. And belated happy anniversary also to Jay and Tanit Buya on the 22nd. And happy birthday to Edith and Dorothy on the 27. It's only Edith on the 27 and 27 happy anniversary Andre and Luz Restrepo. 28 happy birthday at the Tanit. 31 is Emily Fuque. There's a Y over there. I'm sorry. And the worship series, we will start with the When the Spirit Moves, the Pentecost worship series. Today, our title is Spirit Poured Out. Next week is Trinity Sunday. We will have a very special guest speaker. So um, I hope that uh, our guest speaker will be here, uh, hopefully. But uh, I invited somebody because I will be on vacation, Pastor Noban family. We'll be on vacation from May 28 to June 3. We will just be in Vermont. So you can uh, follow us or you can come with us if you want. <laughs> Provided, um, okay, I'm moving the PowerPoint. And the Bible study, we can uh, see our Bible study on Facebook. Uh, and it's uh, headed by Pastor Don. The Filipino Bible study is through weekly update and email and also YouTube. Breakout rooms, the English uh, speaking, 12 noon after worship. And we will give the Filipino uh, community uh, sign in on Zoom, a number, and we will give it to you after the church worship. And also the ESL class every Monday and Thursday. Crochet. Class will start on Tuesday, May 25 at 5 p.m. 2021 Student Achievements. Please call Miss Evelyn Shenak to give the information or email Lauren Galame. Miss Evelyn's number is 973-379-9059. If you can't, uh, she's not available, please leave a message to her. GNJ annual conference is Monday and Tuesday tomorrow and Tuesday morning up to afternoon. Congratulations to our new members of the committees of the conference. They're, they are nominees, but of course, you know, if they are nominated automatically, if we vote for them, that they will be included. Joshua Colorado, for Commission on Religion and Race. So congratulations, Joshua. He's going to be a conference uh, member too. And of course, our very own Samuel Albania Jr., Committee on District Superintendency. Woo! Kuya Sam, so you will see my uh, reports. <laughs> okay, we will continue, of course. We want to thank God because the conference lay leader is Ate Judy Colorado. Okay. And I'm trying to uh, press the, this. I don't know why. Uh, hold on. I can't. Did uh, somebody uh, turn off the PowerPoint? No. I have to. Mine is not working. 
Okay, thank you so much for visiting our website. Prayer meeting is Monday and Wednesday only. No prayer meeting from May 31 to June 4. And also, breakout rooms is about the Holy Spirit. Have you traveled where you did not speak the language? What happened? What happened on the day of Pentecost? What did the disciples hear, see, and feel? What might be the reason why God waited for the Pentecost to give the Holy Spirit? What might be the attributes the disciples needed to develop? In this generation, what might happen when the Spirit is poured out? What is your wish to see in the church? How can you be a part of the fulfillment of that wish? And thank you for visiting our website. Who has a cell phone? Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give you one minute. Go to igniteumc.com right now. Because when I say it, you don't follow me. So right now, we'll do it. Igniteumc.com Okay, you see that? That's our church. You see there's a navigation there, there's a home. That's weekly what's happening to the church. Every week we are putting in new stuff, the worship service, our weekly update, it's in there. And if you go to Google, you can also review. So this is an assignment, okay, assignment. Of all of this, I know that I, I think Kuyasam was the one who only reviewed it from way, way back. Now, I want you who has phones later, okay? Don't do it while I'm doing the sermon. Review it later. Give a good uh, review, okay? So people will know what's going on. If you like what's going on, please review our website and give it at least a nice uh, recommendation. <laughs> and today's worship participants, we want to thank uh, Praise Singing, Kuya Sam and Ian, Albania. I'm sorry if it's that's uh, Ian's not there, but also I want to thank Peter Colori for organ, the liturgist, Norma de los Reyes. Ate Norma, bakit naging de los Reyes? Why did you become a de los Reyes? I'm sorry, uh, Norma Ares. But it's good that Pastor Hem is not here, he will kill me. <laughs> Pastor Emi, I'm sorry. Uh, Norma Ares, correction, is not corrected. Uh, I know you are uh, laughing there at home and at Facebook, but um, okay, that's Norma Ares. Young Disciples Time, Risha Nair, Acolyte, Josiah, Albania. And also, I would like to congratulate all our... Students who graduated, if you will look at the back of your um, bulletin, congratulations to Tanit Vuya, Janelle Carino, Ian Galame, KG Lim, Hannah de los Reyes. Yay! You know, Ian is doctor already, and Hannah, doctor too. And Janelle, doctor too. And Tanit is what? BSN. So, wow. I'm so proud of all of you guys. But Hannah, I know. Uh, uh, congratulations. E! Congratulations. I'm so proud of all of you guys. And thank you so much. And we will continue also before uh, um, the website. I remember the website. I just want to share with you. I received a, a, a letter. It says, Dear Reverend Nova, the other day, I was checking out your website. And I was very impressed by all the work the Paris is doing. You are a wonderful presence in the community, and I have heard many positive comments from many residents. I'm enclosing a little donation to your par Paris and wish you continued blessing as you live the gospel message. Father Joe. Oh, You know Father Joe? He was the priest before uh, St. Therese. I met him and, you know, we talk a little and I have goosebumps, you know. <laughs> and I, I heard a lot of positive things about Father Joe too and I'm so blessed, you know. That just looking at the website, you know why I asked you to look at the website? 
Maybe you will donate too. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> because looking at the website, you know, God moved Father Joe and he sent uh, a little donation to give us support in our ministry. So let us bow our heads and let us pray. Spirit of the living God, we acknowledge your presence and leave up to you all those who are in their homes or in the hospital or in senior living or wherever they are that they cannot come here because they are sick or they have a problem or they need, any, they need something, Lord God. We ask you to provide them healing, provide them what they need and may you touch them and heal them. Lord God, we continue to lift up to you our healthcare workers, our essential workers, first responders. Lord, we lift up to you the closing of our building of SEUMC. Continue to make it happen this month. We lift up to you Lex, Daniel, Bell, Monica, Kathy, Mike, Wendy, Bob, Miss Elba, Pastor Don, Asata, Carmelita, Leonardo, Mariela, Randy, Christina, Huya Joseph, Kathy, Mom Grace, Eric, Nanay Sotera, Nanay Nati. We lift up comfort for Bismonte family, Lydia Galang, Pablo family, Salvatore's family, Jeff Pura's family. And Lord, we ask that you continue to prepare those who are going to have surgery. Bless them, Lord God, and continue to work in their lives. Spirit of the living God, continue to dance with us on this day. Sing to the groaning of creation and inflame us with your passion. Purify us our grasping for things that we don't need and silence our tongues if we don't have anything good to say. Wind of God blow through us. Fire of God burn within us. Tongue of God speak through us. Renew us and continue help us to listen to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Together, let us pray for prayer for illumination. Lord, open our hearts and minds by the power of your Holy Spirit, that as the scriptures are read and your word proclaimed, we may hear with joy what you say to us today. Amen. Please stand for the scripture lesson, scripture leading taken from Book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 to 21. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now there were staying in Jerusalem God-fearing Jew, God Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard their own language being spoken. Utterly amazed, they asked, aren't all these who are speaking Galileans? Then how is it that each of us hears them in our native language? Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Britons and Arabs, we hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongues. Amazed and perplexed, they ask one another, what does this mean? 
Some, however, made fun of them and said, they have had too much wine. Then Peter stood up with 11, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These people are not drunk, as you suppose. It's only nine in the morning. No, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions and your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. The word of the Lord. Please be seated. It's good that I am like a Girl Scout. I am always ready. I uh, printed two uh, sermons, so I have, they have it at the back. And our title for today, can you read our title? Spirit Poured Out. And our text is Acts 2, 1 to 21. Pentecost literally means 50th. It is a feast. For, all, for those of you who doesn't know, it is a feast celebrated on the 50th day after the Passover feast by the Jews. So Jews also celebrate Pentecost. And it is a feast celebrated on the 50th day after the resurrection of Jesus Christ by the Christians. On Christmas, we celebrate the birthday of Christ in the, his physical body. Today is the birthday of the church. So happy birthday, church. Woo, happy birthday, church. Of all those who have been reborn into God's mystical body, this is also the day when the Holy Spirit descend. When we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, and accept him in, him in our hearts. The Holy Spirit enters our hearts. Okay? So those of us, you know, there's uh, what we call a prayer of acceptance. We accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. The Holy Spirit comes into our heart. So there is an indwelling of the Holy Spirit. So... For the sake of Peter, I, I think Peter also knows about this, that the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. Oh, so this is the difference, you know, we have Trinity, this is the uh, belief of Christians. We have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So Trinity, the Holy Spirit is God, the third person of God. The Holy Spirit comes from a Greek word, from the Greek word paraklete. Do you agree? Parakletos. See, that's why I look at you. I know I'm mistaking. Thank you, Attorney Peter. Parakletos. That is translated as counselor, comforter, helper, or enabler, or encourager. Now, this is what I want us to practice during service. Okay? 
When I say stand, you stand. Okay? Because I want us to have an engagement during the sermon. I'm not the only one who will talk. So when I ask something, that doesn't mean it's something that you will not answer. Answer if I ask something. Okay? Do you understand? Yay! They understand. The well-known author and preacher, Fred Craddock, I don't know if Pastor Don knows Fred Craddock. He's, I love him. He tells a story about a lecture he was giving. A few years ago, when he was speaking at the seminary, just before the first lecture, one of the students stood up and said, before you speak, I need to know if you are Pentecostal. The room grew silent. Craddock looked around for the dean of the seminary to save him, but he was nowhere to be found. Craddock said, do you mean, do I belong to the Pentecostal church? He said, no, I mean, are you Pentecostal? Craddock said, oh, are you asking if I am a charismatic? The student said, I am asking if you are Pentecostal. Craddock said, do you want to know if I speak in tongues? He said, no, I want to know if you are Pentecostal. Craddock said, I don't know what your question is. The student said, obviously, you are not Pentecostal. And he left. What do we mean when we say Pentecostal? Most of the time when we say Pentecostal, we mean it as a faith community, as a religion, as a congregation, as a noun. But it can also be used as an adjective, as somebody who is working and yielding to the power of the Holy Spirit. Can somebody say Pentecostal? Can somebody say Holy Spirit? And I ask you, are you Pentecostal? Amen. If the church is alive in the world, it is Pentecostal. And you thought we were Methodists, huh? <laughs> we are Pentecostal Methodists. <laughs> Today's scripture talks about the disciples when they were meeting together after 50 days when Jesus resurrected. The event was described by Luke. They heard a sound like, hold on, I have uh, something to share with you. The event was described by Luke. They heard a sound like a blowing of a violent wind. That's the sound of it, you know? Have you been to a storm? Have you heard outside the storm, a violent wind? You know, if it's violent, it's really a crazy sound, loud sound. They saw tongues of fire that day. The spirit was poured out. What happens when the Spirit was poured out? What happened when the Spirit was poured out? There are three important things that happened when the Spirit was poured out during that Pentecost. In Acts, in verse 1, in verse 4, it says, All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. The, spirit, the disciples were enabled to do extraordinary things. When the Spirit is poured out, when the Spirit was poured out, they were able to speak in other language. Now it's not actually a surprise anymore. A professor can speak 12 languages sometimes. I can speak Tagalog uh, too and English. Sometimes uh, Spanish, un poquito, mi amore. Uh, <laughs> you know? Because we study it. During those times, you know, they were Galileans. That's why they said they are from different places, but they can speak in our tongues. When the Spirit pour, was poured out, they were able to do extraordinary things. They began to speak in other language. They began 
they communicated God's word so that people could understand them. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us try asking ourselves, am I open to the action of the Holy Spirit? Can you repeat that? Am I open to the action of the Holy Spirit? Number one, Risha, please. Am I open to yield and do what the Spirit is asking me to do? The disciples were enabled. They were empowered. The Spirit gives the ability to do extraordinary things. We need to be sensitive to God's Spirit and follow God's leading. Every second, every minute, we decide what to do. Even the clothes that we're going to wear. You know, if the Spirit is leading us, and if we uh, will ask the Holy Spirit, we will not have any problem. But we must be sensitive and we must be willing and open to the action of the Holy Spirit. Every minute counts when we are deciding. If we are in sync with the Holy Spirit, in sync with the Holy Spirit, amazing things will happen. If we will follow the Holy Spirit's leading, small or big things we are doing, God is involved. God will do great and amazing things through us. The second thing that happened the disciples saw the wonderful works of God and declared it to all. It is very, not very, am I losing my sound? It is not always that we can say that we see God's work in a certain situation. Sometimes we don't see that this wonderful thing that's happening is God's work. But you know, when the Holy Spirit is poured out, we will be able to see the wonderful works of God in our lives. And not only see it, this, the, the disciples declared the wonderful works that they saw. We will have the courage to declare hi lulu so this is a wonderful thing that's happening we see lulu and christine good morning you thought that lulu was walking by herself good morning and this is the prayer we must pray every day can somebody follow me? Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God every day. To see God's wonderful works. Just me, okay? You don't have to follow. To see God's wonderful works in our time through new technologies. What an amazing thing, you know. You can see me here. People can see me on Zoom. People can see me on Facebook. Only the Holy Spirit can give wisdom to the person who invented that. We must acknowledge that this is the work of God, what's going on in our lives. We should acknowledge this and we should thank God for these wonderful things that's happening. My goodness, we can travel, you know, before. Maybe how many? 30 years ago. To say things and to send, like Pastor Don was saying, to send a document to your lawyer or to somebody. You have to go to them. And if you don't have a car, you have to wait for the bus. You have to go to them. But now, you can scan email in one second, and one minute. The document will be there. Wow, that is wonderful. See, this is the work of God. We should acknowledge that. The wisdom that we gain for, for doing all these things, it is God's, God's doing. And we should 
If the Spirit is poured out, we will have the courage to declare that it is from God and give God the glory. It is not only seeing God's work, but declaring it for God's glory. Number three, the disciples experienced the scriptures fulfilled through them. The word of God came to life in their lives. You know, Jehovah Rapha is the God who heals. Jehovah Jireh is the God who provides. Jehovah Nisi is the Lord, my banner, is the Lord of victory. We will experience God for who he is in God's word and promises in our lives. We will know the word of God, but we need to know the word of God first. What do we need to do to know the word of God? Can somebody answer? What can we do to know the Word of God? Read your Bible. You know, we cannot see, we cannot know that the Word of God is working in our lives if we don't read the Bible. So read the Bible. If you read the Bible, we will know that, oh, this is the Word of God, the work of God in me. God is the God of common sense. First and foremost, I want us to let us know that whatever decision we are going to make, you know, when Jesus say. In Matthew, you are the light of the world. Nobody lights a lamp and put it under the table. That is common sense. So every day in our lives, we need to let God teach us, guide us, and for us to decide with common sense. Because God is the God of common sense. Three important things when the Spirit is poured out to us right now in this gathering, those who are at Zoom and Facebook. When the Spirit is poured out to us, we will be enabled and empowered to do extraordinary things. We will see the wonderful works of God and declare it to all. We will experience the scriptures through our lives. Now, let me ask you, what's the difference between sea and ocean? The sea is a smaller portion and it is usually attached to the land. The ocean is the bigger portion that is actually from the sea to the bigger uh, body of water. What is the difference between shark and whale? A shark is a fish and a whale is a mammal. Okay. So there is a, a story about a shark and a whale by Susan Flinor. Both were swimming in the sea when the shark swam up to the whale to engage in conversation. As they swam along, the shark said to the whale, You are so much older than I and wiser too. Could you tell me where the ocean is? The whale responded, The ocean is what you are in now. The shark could not believe it. Come on, tell me where the ocean is so I may find it. The whale repeated, The ocean is here now. You are in it. Unbelieving, the shark swam away searching for the ocean. I think the moral story here is that don't spend too much time looking for God. Because you know what? Because the Spirit of God is here in the now of our lives. If we have not accepted Jesus, this is the time to accept. If the Holy Spirit if we accept Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit will enter our lives. He will dwell in us, within us, within this community. We just have to be sensitive and acknowledge and yield to the will of God, the Holy Spirit. This Pentecost, today is Pentecost, so we are all in red. Happy birthday, church. Though, I'm sorry that, uh, you know, you don't know, uh, Drew, so don't be sorry about it. And uh, Rachel. But we will have a picture all of us will have a distance, okay? The family can bubble. <laughs> or family by families. Today, God is inviting us to fly. Not literally, so don't quote me on this. Doctor wants me to fly. Where is Ryan? Ryan, not literally, okay? Do not fly. But <laughs> the Spirit is inviting us to fly, to break all boundaries that bind us to being ordinary. God wants us to do amazing things through us, to use us to soar on the winds of hope and promise, 
to bring together a broken world and to connect with others who need God the most. Today, God invites you to let the Spirit be poured out on you, to do extraordinary things, to see and declare God's wonderful works, to feel God's word through your life. And it is for this church, this church, that I declare, let God ignite in our hearts and be a living testimony of God's amazing love. Friends, we heard God's word. What are we going to do with it? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for that inspiring message. Uh, let us continue to honor God as we offer our tithes and offering to the altar. Together, let us pray. Living God, you are the Lord of all. Only you can send your spirit to bring us new life. You graciously speak your word of hope in times of struggle and uncertainty and in times of joy and peace. We are grateful that you are continually at work in our lives and the world to fulfill your promises. May our giving today show our trust in you. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's remain standing for our closing hymn, Spirit Song. And then those who have thanksgiving in their hearts and continue to want to continue to dedicate themselves to God, you are um, invited to the altar to kneel down and pray. Okay, Spirit Song, hymn number 347.
Lord, you see your children in front of the altar, kneeling at the cross. Lord, we pray that you continue to bless them. Lord, continue to work in their lives. Continue to provide their needs. Continue to use them for their glory. And may your spirit pour upon them. Lord, we thank you for all the good things that you have given. Lord, we thank you for the birthday celebrants, for those who have their anniversaries. We thank you for our relationships. And we thank you because you are our great physician, our great healer. We thank you because you are our great provider. And we thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity to be of your service, to be used by you, by your Holy Spirit. Help us to be sensitive. Every second of our lives, whatever we're doing or saying or thinking, may it be to glorify your name so that amazing things will happen. And Lord, continue to bestow your greatness and your goodness in your children. Let us receive the blessing. Go into the world and serve to bring forth new life. Dream dreams and pursue vision. Speak of God's goodness to those who would hear it. And may the God who breathed life into creation be your delight. May Christ Jesus give hope to your dreaming. May the Holy Spirit, your advocate, counselor, comforter, helper, encourager, and enabler, ignite your hearts with passion for those who need God the most. Go in peace. And now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or imagine, to him be the glory, honor, and praises. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Hi, Ali. Ali was baptized here, and so he will grow here too. So, Ali, woohoo! He's at home. Good morning, church, and happy birthday! Happy birthday, church! Uh, 12 o'clock, all our um, English congregation will meet, and also the Filipino congregation will have the Bible study. Uh, it's here, and we will also give a uh, Zoom link to the people, and we will uh, put, them, put them on the phone so that they can hear and they can uh, communicate. So everybody, the Lord loves you and be a shining light. Let your light shine. Do not put it under the table. Yay! Yeah, praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Attorney Peter, for the... Thank you, everybody, for joining. Next week, please come again, 1030.